Doing Skits Tech Talk. Today we're doing part two of my new PC build. We're gonna showcase the motherboard that's going into this new machine that I'm building here. It's a gigabyte board in this case. Now, since this is an AMD system using the FM2 uh, socket, um, we're going to be using the F2A 85X UP4 board. But um, even though it's priced at $129 US, more or less of an entry level board, it still packs a lot of higher end features, support for Windows 8, um, by the way. And um, the quality and components, it's what's making this board stand out. They're talking about ultra durable, they're talking about the thickness of the board, the copper, uh, the, the ability to basically transfer the data and keep it uh, safe is the bottom line here, right? Because uh, we don't want things overheating. Here are basically all the uh, specifications of the board for those of you that are um, curious about certain details like the amount of memory, 64 gigs uh, total that it can take. Yes, it does have support for Ifinity right off the bat because it has all the outputs built in on the board for um, a display port, HDMI, VGA, um, and of course your DVI out. And uh, you can see here it has support for Crossfire, which is great as well. And tons of ports for your SATA, seven of them, okay, in there as well as one eSATA. And um, you can have tons of connectors. The ability inside there to do some overclocking is pretty good as well. It has the debugger uh, LEDs. It has all the switches to reset the CMOS, reset the system, power it on with these buttons that are built in on the board. The board has a nice black finish which is usually seen on higher end boards, which is very nice. Um, you can see here, by default, uh, those are the heat sinks that come on mainstream boards these days, okay? There's no pipes going through out the board from one uh, chipset to the other in this case. And there are all the PCI Express, all the, the slots, the expansion slots that you've got that I mentioned in the specifications. So you've got a good uh, quantity there. And um, like I said, this has lots of SATA ports. I do like the fact that they're pointing them away from the video cards, so they're not pointing upwards. Make sure that you buy a board that doesn't have the SATA ports pointing up so it doesn't hit the uh, video cards because some of them uh, are quite long and reach that. Dual BIOS support, which is great. 3D BIOS support, which is even nicer if you guys like that 3D look and feel. And uh, there are those um, enthusiast type controls that I was talking about there so that you can control the board easily when you're installing it, testing it, overclocking, doing all that. Here are the uh, input outputs at the back that I mentioned earlier from the specifications. Lots of USB 3.0 and 2.0 support as well. Lots of outputs there for your display. Here's a picture of the um, 3D BIOS. I personally don't like the 3D BIOS. I like the advanced BIOS features, so it does have the ability to switch back to the regular looking BIOS, which is what I want. I like it better that way and there's a final look at the board. So, I'm going to be doing benchmarks in my part three video that will show you the uh, CPU in action and uh, doing a little bit of overclocking. Because it's a modest board, doesn't come with much IO plate, um, the SATA cables, the manual, and the uh, CD, of course, for the drivers. So, let's start off with the 5700 uh, APU from AMD and then we'll do another one with a different chip and overclock it even further. So stay tuned for part three and I'd like to thank Gigabyte for providing it. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.